So in this video series, I'm going to crawl guardian.com, which is one of my favorite uh, news websites. So this is going to be a small video series, like two, three videos, uh, but the time gap between the, when the videos come out would be about three to four days or maybe even a week. So if you want to stay updated on when the next video of this series comes out, then do subscribe. This video is going to be very helpful because it'll teach you the intricacies of uh, Golang. So if you've just learned Golang and you want to take your skills to uh, web development, where you want to start crawling stuff, uh, this is the right video. Uh, obviously, you need to know the basics of Golang before you, you know, start crawling, right? And uh, so what we're going to do in this video series is we're going to have a base URL and we're going to base URL is basically going to be guardian.com, right? And then we're going to find links on uh, on our website, on our homepage, and then we're going to get those pages and we're going to pass the response. So this is like a 10,000 uh, feet overview of what we're going to do. Now I always take everything to the drawing board. If you've uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I take everything to the drawing board because this is the right way to plan and uh, plan your approach before you start coding because you make way less mistakes with this approach, right? Then you create your user agents. Uh, user agents are important uh, because uh, when you request something from a website, the website knows that it's a browser. It's a actual user requesting something. But uh, when our GoLang code is requesting something from the browser uh, the uh, from the website the website doesn't know it's it's actually it's an actual browser so we create user agents where uh, we'll have like uh, mozilla firefox or chrome browser or whatever we'll you know populate with that and then we'll write a function to pick a random user agent at um, at you know any point of time so that uh, you know if there's a lot of requests coming from one user agent then the, you have a chance of getting blocked from uh, the website uh, so you'll pick a random user agent now there are many more things that you can do to not get blocked since we're not going to scrape a lot of uh, pages a uh, lot of pages from guardian.com so it's not a problem but if we were going to scrape the whole of uh, the complete guardian.com right then uh, we would have done we would have done so many more things we would have had distributed uh, you know systems and we would have had uh, like uh, you know uh, randomizing our ip addresses and a lot of different stuff if you want to learn all of that you can you know put it in the comments below if you want to learn all of that uh, you know i have a lot of experience in that i can teach you all that stuff only if you're interested so anyway uh what we'll do is we'll uh, yeah so now i'll explain to you how we actually uh, are going to approach the entire problem so we'll define our fun function main where we'll define the base url which is guardian.com again and then we'll have a crawl function which will be a separate function the crawl function will call three different functions or uh, do three different things basically the crawl function will send request to the base url and get a response right so we need the html response of this entire guardian.com page so that we can uh you know read it or parse it and then we're going to uh, you know pass this response into uh, a, some a function which will help us discover the links on that page all the links that are there on the, on the page we want to discover those links so that we want to be able to crawl them like right so that's why we'll have this function now all the links that we get we're going to resolve so we're going to have some uh, you know logic to resolve relative path basically to uh, you know uh, from golang uh, from sorry guardian.com then then we want to have you know slash something slash or you know whatever the um, the other pages and categories are so we'll have some logic for that and then we'll parse the html info the, you know of those pages so basically we this is what is happening right so we find we have the base URL. We, you know, uh, send request, get some HTML uh, response, and then we discover the links on that those pages. We get those pages and we pass the response. That's what's happening here, right? And uh, so, like I said, you know, uh, you will learn a lot uh, about GoLang if you follow along with this series. So you uh, you can please subscribe to this channel so that you come to know whenever the next video is coming out. And thanks a lot for watching.